Hello, this is the first tutorial, uh, third tutorial about uh, OpenGL and in this tutorial we will uh, see the basic transformations. Okay, there are three basic transformations which we will review in this tutorial. The translate, which basically means move the object. Uh, rotate, probably you uh, know what rotate means and scale, scale means resize the object, we can call that. Okay, so in here, uh, try to use the translate, uh, so try to move the object, so gl translate f, and in here uh, you define the free axis, so x, y, and z, and you give how much unit should be uh, moved. So, for example, we uh, don't move the x-axis, but we move minus 5 in the y-axis, then this triangle will be uh, pretty far, because we move to minus 5, and, uh, and from minus 5 we use another minus 5 to draw uh, the object, so the object actual position will be minus 10 in the z-axis. So now, if I compile the program, by the way, we don't use uh, numbers in here because we always have to give free uh, float variables, so we just give the f like float. So, if I now compile the program and run it, uh, as you can see, it goes uh, uh, far, far away. That's because we don't use the GL load identity, so we don't use the identity matrix which will cause that uh, ev so which will cause that the matrix set back to the original so in this case uh, every time the display is uh, called we translate it to minus 5 unit and then we translate uh, and then the next when it's called it we translate another 5 unit and another 5 unit and another 5 unit instead of we always translate just 5 unit so we use the gl load identity, so we load the identity matrix and now it gives the result what I wanted to show you. As you can see our triangle is farther away from the camera and because it's farther away it looks smaller. Uh, from this I just remember another subject I forget to tell. Uh, there is actually not just a perspective view, uh, there is an orthographic uh, ortho graph view. So that's pretty mean. You can define it with GL ortho. Then the farther object don't look smaller than the closer. So this gives pretty unrealistic effect, although in some cases like 2D games or CAD programs uh, it should be used. Uh, but because the perspective gives the real life result, uh, we will use this perspective. Okay. The next thing I wanted to show you is the rotate function. Actually, we have to uh, set these back to zeros, so we will be at minus 5 position. If we use this minus 5, the rotation will not be, so not the object rotating, but it's rotating in the big circle, like, like the, it could be good for a solar system demonstration, but uh, yeah. Okay, so the translation and the rotation order is very uh, so important. First of all, uh, it is easy to just imagine that everything you do in translation and rotation will be executed in different order. So you first rotate the object and then uh, you translate it. So you use the GL rotate F. Okay, so for example, you set a 45 degrees, and then, so the first parameter is degrees, as I want to say, and then you give what axis do you want to rotate the object. So, for example, if you want to rotate in the x-axis, then you will do this. So, set 1, the x. Okay, so now, if I compile the program and run it, uh, this object, uh, so this triangle is rotated, although it not see so, but we can rotate in other directions too. 
uh, so in here so now if I compile it and run it as you can see it is much clearer to see that this object is rotated so first of all we rotate the object and then we translate or you can imagine it by translating the oh so uh, yes uh, we can rotate obviously in the z axis too so as you can see it is now rotated in the x axis if we will use an um, angle variable so float angle equals zero. so we have a zero angle variable and every time the loop runs for example in here we would increase this variable so angle plus equals 0 0.5 and then I will just put uh, the angle in here instead of a number so angle and uh, yeah try it what of it so as you can see we have a moving triangle a rotating triangle right in the other axis is the work too as you can see alright so and one last thing is remains the scaling okay I will not use this translating for now so I just use the GL scale F for that and in here you you just give uh, uh, how do how much do you want to scale it if you use one it means there is no scaling it basically means that the matrix is multiplied by one and if you multiply by one everything remains the same so 2.0 mean you scale it uh, in this case twice of the size and it is in the y-axis so it will be how do you say stretch okay and uh, you can uh, uh, say we use 0 0.5 in here so for the z-axis and uh, don't use 0 0.5 okay so like that now if I compile and run the program you cannot see it that's because uh, we have to translate it so gl translate f and uh, 0, 0.0 0, 0 and min minus 5.0 so we translate it to the correct position and now as you can see it is stretched uh, upper now if I use for example 0 0.5 in here instead of 2 0 0.5 like here then it will be very stretched in this in this way uh, so that's about the basic transformation uh, by the way uh, you may uh, wait something like how to move the camera uh, in the truth is you cannot move the camera in OpenGL but you can move everything as uh, everything as the camera remains zero 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 coordinate and looks in the negative z axis uh, so to move the camera, actually to see that the camera is moving, you move everything to the opposite direction. Uh, yeah. So basically, if you uh, go two steps forward in a room, that is the same as the we set the room back to two step uh, distance. So the and you would stay there. So you would say the, uh, so you would see the same result. Uh, yes that's about it so uh, instead of moving uh, the camera me we move everything else all right that's about this tutorial thank you for watching and have a great day